right. Oh, hello, Mr. Fleece, man. It's 50 kilometers an hour going up the hill on Vineland here, and they will get you. I'm doing 70, but he's busy. <laughs> Get you every time, man. Uh, somebody's got to try and help me sell this house over on Woodland. It's the cheapest house in St. Catharines. A detached three bedroom, two story, full basement. It's actually finished. All the appliances are included. There's a garage. It's not perfect. It's ugly, to be honest with you. It's dated. It's structurally sound. It's got a dry basement. It's, close. it's downtown, close to the core. $299. Dude just walked away from closing. Just didn't show up. Just, I don't know, this is two. Two out of my last three deals. The buyer, out of towners, just didn't show up for closing. The first guy forfeited a $14,000 deposit to my seller as compensation. What, like, what do you think? You just, you don't show up. You don't have to show up. It's just not, uh, it's unbelievable. 25 years, over 25 years in real estate. I've never seen such a lack of integrity of people that just buy stuff and then just go, I'm not closing. Unbelievable. So 27 Woodland, I just put it up yesterday again. And uh, for those of you that saw the ad on point two or whatever it's called, for $29,900, yeah, I got slammed with roach calls yesterday. What do you think? 29,000, like, come on. It was a mistake, obviously, an inputting error. So I guess uh, it's, it was fine on my system, but in translation, when it went over to the marketing, it got put up as 29,9, they dropped to zero. So, um, <laughs> Carl Regeer, I showed your guy today. When you, when you ask him, do it, you got an agent, just tell me, yeah, he can't make it. I'll meet you over there. I don't care. I'll show stuff. And he show up, and you're like, I am. Well, I'm Carl's guy. So I guess you don't need to show it tomorrow at noon, because I already showed it to your guy today, Bill, at 3, and he doesn't like it. So don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, wait, it's your time. $2.99, all the appliances go with it, and uh, it's a vicious deal, man. But we started at 250. We didn't get any action at all. At two, uh, three, so 350. What am I doing? It's 299. 350. Reduced to 319. Sold it right away. Took it off the market for a month and a half. And then toolbox decides he he doesn't need to close. I did a virtual walkthrough of it today over on the main channel. I think this is coming from the Jim Fannin Show page, so. The main channel. Over on my personal profile page called Jim Fannin. Yeah, I put a walkthrough up there today with, uh, yeah, hopefully it'd be better sound because I put my head earbuds in. So the mic's a little bit better. It's better for voices, I think, when you're doing it that way. And uh, I'm open housing it Sunday if it's not sold. I hope it's gone by then. 27 Woodland, Sunday 2 to 4, that's the 15th I think this weekend. I'll be there if it doesn't sell before that. $2.99. Somebody help me sell this damn thing. Uh, and also, we put up a commission coach uh, video too yesterday. We. We is me and the frog in my pocket. It's about 15 minutes, and it's designed for sellers, especially if you're private sales. Don't offer 2% to selling broker. Offer more to get more money. Duh. And for agents, on how to have the conversation with their sellers, on how paying more money than the going rate will put more money in the seller's pocket. If it doesn't, you can negotiate down later. That's what the contract's all about. Bring me full pop, I'll pay you full commission. If I don't, you got leverage, that's when the seller should negotiate commission. These windmills are freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, I put it up on the main channel and on the Jim Fannin show, uh, just Jim Fannin on YouTube, 
and the com and I started another channel there months ago or years ago or whatever, uh, the Commission Coach on YouTube as well. Follow us, subscribe. I've got like 200 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, you can't really see who they are. You can see when they subscribe and stuff like that, but I don't know how to look at the the details or the analytics or the logistics of it to see who you guys are. But we had 50 uh, about six months ago. Um, it was a big deal to get there, and it was a big deal to get to 100. And I'm not doing videos on much of anything, really. Well, I've got, got great musicians. I had Anthony Bodding on the other day. I cut a couple songs up. He did Echoes. Man, he did Echoes. And I got the levels right. I'm getting better at making the musician sound. Because I don't know. Like, what do I know? I'm, a, you know, I want to roll into the news station and have it all done for me, man. But anyways, limited resources. Got an iRig and a couple mics. And hey, we made them sound good, I think. And we I put the original video up here on the, on the fake book. Uh, I think it sounds really good. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of my boy Body, fucking stud. And he can, uh, he's a talented kid, man. Showed up with the little hair of the dog looking for whiskey, and uh, <laughs> he was grateful. Um, so, yeah, check out Body. I got Anthony Sweet. Sweet. Speaking of uh, sweet human beings, Anthony Sweet's one of those. Uh, we made him sound pretty good too. Anthony James Blake came over the other day to run an video, a video for uh, Olivia Rondo. We did from uh, she's a pencil, pencil turkey, uh, young conservative uh, wrestler down in the states, talking about politics and stuff. She was pretty cool. MJ came down and ran the board in the background. He was my Jamie, you know, watching the, making sure everything was still running because we went live on Twitter and the fake book. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook. And then for botting, we went live on Instagram and and into Twitter. And uh, it was pretty good. Anyways, so MJ came over and we were supposed to uh, do a session afterwards, you know, the seller sessions, new songs, you know, get them to sound good. We talk about the song and then they play the song and It got, it got high out. The clouds rolled in, and it, it didn't look like it was going to get high, but it got really high out, and I actually had to go lay down on the couch and regain my composure from this tar that my buddy made me smoke, this shatter or whatever the fuck it was, and the one hit, oh, heats it up with a, a torch, and then you just go on up. Anyways, you don't want to hear my problems. <laughs> Anyways, MJ and I got, well, I got two, because I didn't smoke or drink all week. I took some time off. Saturday after the interview, I felt like getting high with my boy, so I did. And then my buddy came over, and he hit me, and I got shattered. I had to lay down. Anyway, the long story, that is the long story, to we got too high, and we didn't broadcast like we said we were going to. I hate breaking my word. Even like when I say MJ's coming on live seller sessions today, and then I don't do it. I, that's not cool. I don't like breaking my word at all. We should have tried to put something together. Anyway, Scotty ended up coming over. He brought his keyboards, which I still have in my in, in the studio downstairs, and I've been taking along on the thing, and I can learn more seeing it all laid out on the keyboard than I can trying to make my hands go the right way. I got the D chord down, but that's it. Anyways, we had a little jam, but it wasn't broadcast worthy. They were just working some, just kind of jamming on a couple songs, right? Scotty Clarkson is uh, quite the little musician lately. Inspiring to see him writing. He's got a bunch of songs, not completed, but songs in the works, and they're teaching each other. It's so cool. MJ, he can play the drums, he plays some keyboards, he plays the guitar, he's got a brand new nylon string guitar, which is, sounds terrific. He's great on the drums, the percussion, he can sing like no one else, and Matthew James Blake, check him out on Bandcamp, all this stuff's there. And, but they are, uh, they're teaching each other. Here's Scotty, who can, you know, just never played in public more than 
three years ago, outside of what he played for his wife and me, and his buddies that come over that he would corner and capture and convince to, well, it's no choice, you gotta listen to it. Actually, he's got some good tunes. Anyways, so they had a nice little jam. I recorded it for their own sake. It's on private links. If you know the guys and you wanna see it, touch me up on the DM and I'll give you the private link so you can see CMJ and Scotty Jam. CD, if you're out there, you'd love to see it, yeah. I didn't edit it or anything, so it's just, I'm walking in front of the camera, and I think I did put a shirt on. I jumped in the pool, it was so high, I had to get in the pool. <laughs> and I had to go regain my composure a little bit. So we didn't get the broadcast out. My apologies, we'll get back at it. But in the meantime, go check out Anthony Bodding and he did, he did uh, when I come around, he did half of that for his buddy that stiffed. He was supposed to come jam with us, do the interview. And then uh, Echoes, and then he did uh, Heart, what is it? King of Hearts. It's a song that was inspired, he wrote it shortly after the death of Gord Downey. And he didn't know exactly what the song was about, and then he went, oh yeah, it's with Gordy. So and it's a, it's got a it's got a cool little hip feel to it as well. Go check out my boy body, swagger extraordinaire, and uh, who's my boy Jesse Reed carving on him for? What's your problem, Jesse Reed? Get out of my Twitter feed with your bitter ass, or get your ass down. Hey, Jesse Reed was one of my first guests when I was at the station. Uh, Jesse Reed, Sarah Beatty, we do we have one of the first guests, Paige Cop. Uh, she was very early on too. I think, I think Jesse Reed and Sarah Beatty and Dan O'Shea were all in the booth one time together. And it was cool. So Jesse Reed, stop fucking around and chirping my boy, and get down and play some songs, man. Hope you're uh, feeling better. Chirp my boy. Don't fucking carve on my boys. If my boy, you somebody carves on you, I'll get after him. I stayed out of it. I don't know what your problem is. Don't fuck. Get up off my boy, Jesse Reed. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, check out the, the YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe. I'm trying to... I, I want a thousand. I know that's a long way away. But lately, I've been, it's been... Uh, I don't know. It's been getting some more action lately. The views are up. I've been working harder on it in the last maybe 18 months. Twitter's up too, man. It all happens on Twitter. I don't come out here. I'm going to come out here once in a while, check my notifications, chirp back at you turkeys a little bit sometimes, but I, I'm i I'm done with the fake book. I keep it there just because I propagate through the Hootsuite. I'll have Hootsuite do the Jim Fannin Show page, the Twitter channel, and the, and the LinkedIn account. I'm not getting a lot of action on LinkedIn either. But Gary V just keeps singing the, saying the organic reach on LinkedIn is so great, but I'm getting nothing from it. Putting videos up, posting out there all the time, but I don't go out there much. I'm more on Twitter, at Jim Fannin. Check it out. You won't like what you see. I'm an angry fucker out there on Twitter, and I'm, I'm funny, hilarious, which is good. I'm gonna, working on my stand up. Because as a comedian, you can say whatever the fuck you want. I used to be able to say it, but now I did. Now I have the, you know, potentially the whole world can see it now, right? So you can't be like we were in high school with a foul mouth and racial faux pas or whatever you want to call them, man. It's not cool. Um. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate on the real task at hand here. Yeah, I can't talk and drive at the same time, apparently. So anyways, yeah, the Twitter channel's been blowing up because I've been working on it. And wow, I'm getting a lot of love from the Patriots in the States, the MAGA crew. I don't know. Started with Ashley Sinclair. I think I had her on. Sinclair. St. Clair. One of my best inter... Well, one of my best interviews, but... One of my most popular interviews, anyways, after she made the... Nobody, you know, if you don't know who Ashley St. Clair is, that's fine. It's okay. It's just... 
we don't have much to talk about because it's all about the politics in the states. Anyway, I did an interview with her when she was 25,000 followers young. Now she's got about 150,000 followers. And I'm not saying I got anything from her, but she's a conservative woman in the States. She's very attractive. She's well-spoken. She's got great takes. And she's outspoken. She says a lot of things. And I'm getting more with the conservatives these days in the States, not so much in Canada. I like Max Bernier, but in the, down in the States, the Democrats are cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They want to cancel student debt now. Okay. What a bunch of tools. And Trump's playing 4D trolling. <laughs> He's trying to make them all look like Sandra, or exact, Sandy, Alexandria, occasionally coherent, whatever, Ocasio. I am so used to saying occasionally coherent, I don't know what her real name is. Ocas okay. uh, I don't know. Cortez. <laughs> Cor Cor Ar AOC. Anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, four years ago, I had about 2,800,000. Uh, 20, I had about 2,800 followers, and then I, I found this program to unfollow everyone. For you that have seen this on the broadcast before, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but it just tells you, like, the Twitter, right? So, I unfollow everyone that I'm following. Over the next few months, I lost about 1,000 followers. I went down to about 1,800, 1,900, I think it was. Holy shit, I'm here already. That was quick. Um, <laughs> and so then it took me maybe two years. To, you know, I wasn't working really hard, but it took me about two years to get back to my 2,800 that I was at when I lost my thousand my thousand peeps from unfollowing everyone and then i built anyways so uh i think about six months ago i hit 26 27 2800 i was back again to my normal level that i was four years ago <coughs> private for sale and then between then and now in the last six months I doubled my like a my uh, Twitter following doubled, so that's never happened before. And a lot of it's the MAGA crew, whatever. I follow everyone back, and I'm getting more more MAGA crew following me. But I've been working it. So, anyways, uh, the live casting from uh, from Twitter is not great quality, man. Like this is pretty good video from what I can see here, and this is on the back, it's on the, on my front camera. But, um, and it's easier too because I can download it. It saves to my phone too, so I can upload it later to YouTube, which I don't always do. Anyways, follow, sub subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, all that kind of stuff. Give me some traffic because, hey, if, uh, oh, I'm working on some guests too. Yeah, the more support, the better. Who knows? Uh, I've been jinxing my guests by saying who I'm working on. So, I got nothing to lose now. Jonathan K., I'm still chasing you, bro. I know you're busy. And I'm not uh, the top of the list. Jonathan K. is uh, oh, he's a great conversation. I've got some Jonathan K. on my site already on the, U on the YouTube channel. Uh, he's, uh, he, when he talks about Tabitha, Tabitha? Tabitha Southey? Southey? Southey. Oh man, she was married to one of the kids in the hall. You see her tweets? She's outrageous. Anyways, uh, Jonathan K. Deborah So, the sexologist, the sex doctor, the sex neurologist, the, she's brilliant, beautiful, and uh, who, don't want, who, don't want, who doesn't want to talk to the sex doctor? Damn. Uh, Gavin McInnes, listen to that guy. I've got, I don't have an interview with him and I'm not chasing him. I will, I'm gonna ask him. I mean, I'm, why not? Uh, he's one of the funniest guys on the planet right now. Him and, and his Jamie is uh, Ryan Kat, uh, Katsu Rivera. Uh, they're hilarious. I did make it onto his show as a caller a couple times. Those clips are on the YouTube channel as well. Coppers again. See, I drive like a good boy now. <coughs> Marshville Drive. 
Watch out. The heat is on. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. What was I talking about? YouTube channel? Shashi. There's Shashi. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, who I'm chasing? Deborah So. I'm chasing. She's not listening, but, and I'm sure that nobody knows, nobody's watching that's close to her, but if somebody could just say, hey, I'd love to hear Jimmy Panic fire questions at you, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a bad host for an interview or a conversation. One thing, I, I don't do these well. Like, these are the, the monologues. I don't plan them out well. I want to get, like, I want to be able to do, like, the, the newscast of today. Tim Pool, I've been watching a lot of. Man, he's got verbal tickitis, like my local. Oh, man, we've got some local <laughs> talk show hosts. What's with the. And the. All right? Right? And I'm like. And I'm like. You fucking shut. I'm like. You're a professional radio host. Stop and me. <laughs> All right. I'm almost from where I need to go. I thought I was already here, but these windmills are on, on ominous, on, 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 ominous, dude. I don't know why, but they look godly to me. They look strangely alien. Or they look majestic, not godlike, but majestic. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm hypnotized by them, which is not good when you're driving. <laughs> this isn't distracted driving. You can do hands free in the car, on the phone, and do hands free uh, video broadcast. I was pulled over when I started it, right? Um, yeah, hit us up. Real estate agents, if you uh, want the deal. Ooh, somebody just did their fields. Ooh. Oh, I opened it. I just got a mouthful. I opened it at the wrong time. Fell, fracht, stinker. It's a stinky flower right there. Ooh. Oh, my God. What is that? What are you, what are you fucking pe farmers putting on your field? Human feces? Smells like ass. Holy mother. That, I, just hit me, hit me hard. So put the phone toast down, what was I thinking? Anyway, uh, yeah. Botting is live on this channel right below. Live in studio, playing a few tunes. I think I'm getting them sound pretty good. If you know some other musicians that want to come in, I'd be down with it. If you don't suck and you can carry a conversation and you're not going to fucking give me a copyright strike afterwards, go to YouTube and complain. Oh, I didn't, you didn't tell me you could use my song. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Guy behind me thinks I'm insane. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking queer. Don't do that. And so, if you're not queer, and by queer I mean, you know, like weird, like odd, like that's queer. If you're not that, and you can play, call me. Carl David, uh, he's right down below too. Got a bunch of good guests, and there's a bunch more on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you search the hashtag Nagger Rocks on the YouTube channel, you should see um, you should get all a bunch of a whole bunch of good stuff. I got some Aaron Berger live from Odd Fellows Temple for the CD uh, release party that he just did. Uh, I got some Oscar Anderson Short, otherwise known as Drifter or D F R T. R-Z-R Drifter, yeah, oh Oscar does the mouth trumpet I only do it because I know the Sanford and the Sun 
theme, and that's how I do it. Da, 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 uh, Oscar Anderson short search oiled up mouth trumpet. There's a short clip there. I think oiled up is up there too. I got some Katie Gatta coming up uh, live from the stage at uh, Taps uh, earlier in the summer. I also got some more Aaron Burger coming up uh, from that same gig. What else have I got? Old stuff coming up. Anyways, I'm working on getting some new guests. Uh, some decent peeps that don't uh, want to judge. <laughs> don't get too judgy. And then, uh, so yeah, if you know somebody, I'm always making time for them. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my ride. Take it. Last day for steaks are on sale at the New York Strip. Is it? Strip lines are on sale at Metro. $5.99. That doesn't suck. It doesn't smell like ass out here either. I'm gonna catch a nice sunset. What time is it? 5.30? Touch me up with a DM if you know somebody that wants to come on the show. Who else am I chasing? Jonathan K. Deborah So. Oh, Warren Kinsella. I thought Warren Kinsella was going to work for Elizabeth freaking May. And what the hell is going on with the election? They dissolved parliament today. I, no, I'm not running. Vez, I haven't told you yet. I'm not. I don't want to. Oh. Almost missed my corner. No, I'm staying out of it. Um, Green Party picked their candidate. Looks like he's a decent guy. They made the right choice. It was my choice. I don't get the vote. But uh, put Max on the d debates. I like Max Bernier. But they get a little bit of a Nazi problem with their candidate in the same happens. Hello? A white supremacy problem? I don't know. Face. Everyone's a Nazi now, so I'm not falling for that. But he had some questionable past dealings in the States with some white nationalists. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Um, let me chase down Sheer. I had Max Bernier on the show. He's on the YouTube channel too. Go check him out if you want. I'm chasing him down again for another interview. I'm not sure that they're going to grant me another one. I'm just blathering, basically. Oh, there's the lake. You know what? If I was... If I cared about you, which I don't, Is there anyone on fake book that I care about? My brother's not on fake book. My father's on fake book, but he doesn't watch my videos. I would I would show you where I was going, but I don't want to do that to my company. Walk in with a with a video rolling. Hi, I'm here on my on Facebook. That would be queer. All right, so. Feel better, I feel better, better, all better. I feel better already. Even the lawnmower doesn't. Work. Hey, Anise, love you, brother. Renee Linda, hey, Wilby, love you too, bro. Renee Linda, is that? Is that Harper? What up, Reynolds? Pesci, I love you too, brother. Okay, so I lied. There's a few people I care about on this fucking thing. Not many. I might even have me a little drink. The air smells better out here. My stress level just went down. 100%. Fuck you. See you later. How do you turn this thing off? Well, that would be great if I just kept it going, eh? Peace! Oh, I can't, I can't finish. I can't finish.